it's great to have you here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Nana of Double O Physique Creation and I'm a body transformation specialist. This is episode 5 of my road to the PCA Scotland show where I'll be competing in Masters Men's Physique in just 5 days now. Exciting stuff. If you saw episode 4, I'll put a link to this episode at the top of the screen if you've not seen it yet. I did show the meals that I've been eating to transform my physique. Also, what my training and cardio plans are for the final stages before show day. And also why I reduced my carb intake over the last two weeks. In this episode, I'll talk more in depth about why manipulating carbs can make such a big difference into how I'm going to look on stage. From the 9th of August to the 15th of August, so three weeks before show day, I reduced my carb intake to under 100 grams per day. As I explained in the last episode, the reason for doing this is to manipulate the amount of water weight that I actually have in my body. Remember, weight in a very simplistic way equals body fat plus muscle mass plus water weight. For every one gram of carbs that you eat, you can store roughly two to four grams of water. Remember that holding water is a natural thing for your body to do because we actually are about 70% made of water. This also includes muscle cells too, as you can see here. So the effect of me reducing my carbs is to get more muscle definition and detail by temporarily reducing the amount of water weight that is actually in my body. This is what gave me this dry, hard muscle look that you see here on the 15th of August. After my training on the 15th of August and on the 16th of August, I ate a lot of carbs, including lots of chocolate, believe it or not. I'd probably estimate that I actually had around 600 grams of carbs on both of these days. This is the difference in how I looked after one day of reintroducing uh, carbs. You should see that I'm looking much bigger on the 16th of August, but my muscle definition isn't as clear as it was on the 15th of August. This is a comparison of how I looked after two days of reintroducing carbs. Again, I'm looking bigger on the 17th of August, but my muscle definition isn't as good as it was on the 15th of August. The reason I reintroduce carbs is if you go long periods without carbs, you actually start to lose the water weight that is in your muscles. This gives the muscles a flatter look and then makes your muscles smaller than they really actually are. So by bringing carbs back in, it's almost like reinflating them like a balloon. I then brought carbs down for the following two days. You can see that on the 18th of August, I'm looking just as big as I did after two high carb days on the 17th of August. But I'm looking much drier, meaning you can see more muscle definition and detail. This difference is much more noticeable when we look at how I looked after a week of low carbs on the 15th of August versus how I looked on the 18th of August. You can see I'm much bigger on the 18th, but I have the same, if not better, level of dryness and muscle definition. So manipulating carb intake 
when you've lost a good amount of body fat, it can give this cosmetic change in your appearance in just a day or a matter of days. So for my show, it's about getting the balance right between muscle size and dryness that will give me my best look for show day. My weight actually stayed pretty much unchanged and this is why carb manipulation is a cosmetic change. I hope this has given you some insight into the role of carb manipulation for shows. Keep tuned for the next episodes by subscribing to my channel to see how my body transforms over the final week to show day. If you have any questions about implementing your own body transformation, then watch my nutrition knowledge videos and frequently asked question videos that are on my YouTube channel. If you're ready to learn how to fully implement and perform your very own body transformation, then click on the link in the description of this video to learn my five step empowerment strategy that I teach my students so they can perform their own body transformations. You can do this by watching my tutorial video on performing your very own body transformation. Or you can click on the same link in the description of this video to book a free empowerment strategy Zoom chat with me so I can tell you exactly what you specifically need to do to implement your own body transformation. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share this video so more people can see this journey and also subscribe to my channel for future episodes and other fat loss and body transformation tips. I'll see you on the next one and I'll leave you with a bit of posing practice that I did nine days out before the show day.